That UFO whistleblower tonight saying he was categorically assured yesterday the information the media outlet wrote about was not requested through a records request. We have reached out to the sheriff's office to confirm the recent report. We also reached out to the Intercept journalist. At this point, we're still waiting to hear back from all the parties involved. Elizabeth. All right, Brooke, thank you so much. And joining us now with more on all this is Merrick von Rennenkampf. He served as an analyst with the U.S. State Department and was an Obama administration appointee at the U.S. Department of Defense. Uh, thanks so much for being here. I, is reporting on someone's mental health crisis, one that David Grush suffered five years ago, really fair game? Elizabeth, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, you know, that's that's a, a muddy area. You know, this could be a journalist doing his job and, and chasing a story, or it could have a more nefarious kind of um, backstory. I, I just don't know. There's there's not a lot of data and not a lot of speculation. We can do a lot of speculation, but it's not going to help us very much. I think what is not disputed is that Congress is taking the types of allegations that Mr. Grush is making extremely seriously. And, and they're not just basing that um, on his claims. There have been a number of whistleblowers who have spoken to Congress. Senator Rubio, the vice chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, has said some extraordinary statements about the individuals that have come forward to Congress. So I don't know what, what relevance this at this point has to the, the larger and the broader story, right. which I think is really the news. It's not him out there all alone. And David Grush is one of tens of thousands of vets who experienced PTSD after serving in war. Does the fact that he had that affect his credibility? I, I don't think so for the very reason that, you know, kind of I, I just stated that, that the inspector general of the intelligence community has found his allegations credible and urgent. That was confirmed by Senator Rubio. And again, if you look at the legislation that is working its way through Congress right now, it is extraordinary. Senator Schumer has proposed legislation that has passed the Senate that defines and mentions non-human intelligence. 24 times, two dozen times, it requires that the government seize UFOs that are held by private corporations. And again, right. these are these are this is information that is in federal legislation. This is this has nothing to do with right with with Grush's credibility. This is based on multiple individuals that are that are testifying to Congress. Yeah, it just bears also noting that David Grush was very open in his interview with us about the fact that he did at one point suffer from PTSD. The Department of Defense knew about this as well, and his security clearance was not revoked. That's right. That's absolutely right. I, I think he, he addressed it admirably in the interview with Ross Coltart, right? He, he it, in effect, said, hey, you know, he, he turned it into a public service announcement and a positive uh, kind of outcome. And he, and he urged veterans that may be struggling with post-traumatic stress to seek help. So uh, from, from my, again, from my perspective, this has nothing to do with the broader allegations and the, the much more monumental story that, that is developing here. Yeah, and at a time when we're experiencing a mental health crisis in this country, maybe an effort to, you know, impugn someone's credibility because they had a mental health crisis might not be the the best way to go when encouraging people to reach out and get help. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.